Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, it's me again, Nicole from Chiromox. Today I'm bringing our video series on email newsletters to a close, which is sad, but I picked a really great topic to talk about and I think you're gonna like it. Uh, here, we're based in Wisconsin here and we're finally starting to get some springtime weather. Um, today, like right now, it's actually sunny out, these windows on my sides here, but then earlier today it was raining. Um, so obviously we're getting some spring weather um, and I thought today we should talk about spring cleaning your email newsletter. So how can you overhaul your newsletter to make it even better than it was before? So don't watch this video if you haven't watched our previous videos. I'll leave some links here on the screen so that you can get to those videos um, if you haven't yet watched them. Um, but this video is assuming that you've learned a bunch from our video series and are now feeling pretty confident about your email newsletter, which is great. Uh, you're probably doing a really great job, but there's always room for improvement and that's what we want to talk about today. Um, so the first step for spring cleaning your newsletter is to get more subscribers. Um, everyone always wants more subscribers, especially if those subscribers are interested in what you are talking about and are engaged with your chiropractic brand. Um, so I have three different suggestions for how you can go about getting more subscribers onto your list. Um, the first one, this will work really great for your practice since almost everyone who comes onto your email list is a patient, is coming into your office. So have a sign-up sheet on site at the front desk and every so often look at that sheet and add those new names. Yes, it's going to be a little bit of a manual work, but sometimes having that out there um, is a really great resource that's underutilized today. Um, another thing you can do, if you don't already have it, add a subscribe button to your website itself. Um, so this is an easy thing to add that you don't have to do much work to once you've set it up because you can set up this subscribe button to automatically add those names onto your subscriber list whether it's on Constant Contact or MailChimp or whatever service you're using. Um, lastly, another forgotten tip is include a sign up in your email signature. So I don't know if you're sending out loads of emails and if this will really be effective, but again, kind of like the subscribe button, once you've set it up, it's not very hard to keep going. It's always there and you never know when you'll get more subscribers because of it. Okay, tip number two for spring cleaning um, your newsletter. Simplify your design. We've talked about um, design best practices here in this content series before, but I just want to reiterate um, that it, we've seen it happen, it happens all the time, where you just kind of start getting in the groove and you're sending out your email newsletters and you know, one week you want to set include this special piece from your website and then a week later you want to add this special piece and all of a sudden this clean, simple design that was very easy for your subscribers to follow along with has gotten a little bit unwieldy. Um, so every so often when you're spring cleaning, um, go back to your design and simplify it. Um, cut out all the excess that you don't really need, um, that's not vital to the newsletter, and, and get back to the basics. Uh, tip number four on this side of the board is share on social. Um, so this is a way to garner more excitement about your email newsletter. Um, but I do have some advice concerning this point. Um, do not put the same content on social that is in your email newsletter. As in, don't duplicate content. Um, that's because if you start putting the same information in both places, you're actually teaching your readers to tune out one or the other. And you don't want to teach them to do that. So instead, what I suggest, um, share the fact that you have an email newsletter on social. Um, get people to su um, subscribe, to get more subscribers um, by talking about this. And also, um, you can talk about that a new email newsletter went out so that your fan base knows, oh, I should check my email because a new one came out. So really, you're just um, trying to get more excitement for your newsletter without actually revealing what you talked about in the newsletter. And lastly, rethink your content and rethink your imagery. This one is very sim 
similar to simplifying your design. It's just a reminder that every once in a while, especially when you're spring cleaning your newsletter, you should think about um, your content and the imagery. Is this the best possible imagery you can be setting up? Is this content fine-tuned so that my subscribers get the most out of it? Is it easy to follow? Is it easy to read? Is it easy to comprehend? Is it easy to know what they want me to do next? Answer all those questions um, and make sure that every newsletter you send is a quality product coming from your chiropractic practice. That is it. That's all I have for you. So uh, thanks for joining me this content series. Again, if you missed anything, we have it all hosted up on the blog. Check it out at chiromax.com. I'll leave a link here so you can um, just click and get to our website. Um, otherwise, we'll be back with a new content series next week and we look forward to seeing you there.